Hi guys, and welcome back to our FIFA 22 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So, in this episode, as I did allude to in the last episode, I'm going to cut this month in half. I'm going to split it into two episodes. So in this episode, we have the first time we're derby of this series. We'll be welcoming the Mags to their stadium of life. We're then going to go away from home to play Everton. And I think the Brighton and Watford games, I think I will watch... The Brighton game and then jump in if we need to and I will quick sim the Watford game and that will be the episode because of course it, it'll be far too long of an episode if we do the whole month of December in uh, in one episode because it's eight games that's pretty ridiculous so let's do four and four and then December will be fully covered but first and foremost we do have the time where Derby we have Hoffman in goal, Sirkin, Doyle, Twanzeby, Huggins, Diaku, Caballos, Gaffey, Castellejo with Grant and Stewart up top let's have a look at the mags here they have Ben Yedder and Dembele up top. That is a decent little partnership up there. It looks like they have Eric Bailly across the back as well with Lascelles and Mina there as well. That looks like a pretty solid back line. Relatively defensive depending on how far forward the likes of the wing-backs do push forward. We'll have to wait and see with that one. They still have John Joe Shelby in there. Longstaff who I know has decent potential. Gabriel as well. It's a half decent side but that formation it could either benefit us because a lot of the time you do find that the wing-backs when you play the AI... They do push forward quite a lot, so we might get a lot of space in behind. Hopefully that is the case. Let's get into it. And here we are. The stage of the light. The scene is almost set as the fans come into the ground. It's the first time we're derby of the series. As we have mentioned, I do have an unbeaten record against Newcastle on this channel. I've drew games. I have won games, but I have never lost against them. And hopefully that remains intact. For this one, look at the ground, completely filled to the brim. And it is going to be Newcastle to kick us off. How are we, the lads? It's been a pretty quiet start to the game so far. They keep trying those driven through balls, Newcastle, but we're managing to intercept them for now. Spread the play, spread the play. Pass it to the wrong man, but I'll take it. He's taking an age to pass the ball, but we've got it now. Circuit with the ball in towards. Oh, it's a save at the near post. Come on. Ben Yedder now driving down this left side. He's up against Huggins. Oh, he could have taken him on there, but he's decided to go back. And that's a dream ball in. Oh, no. Watch the space. Watch the space. Watch the space. And it's high and wide, luckily, by a long staff. It's been a really scrappy affair. I think we've probably had just about the best of the chances. But can we? What a ball that is there for Diaku. Can he get a good ball in, though? So watch his man. Get your head in there on volley. Again at the near post. Colin Grant and Dubravka is having a brilliant game so far. Oh, no. We're all over the place here. Yeah. And it's a save, but well held by the half. And there goes the half-time whistle. It's been really, really scrappy. We've had a couple of chances from crosses in the box. And they've had a couple of chances. It's been long-range efforts, but we've managed to deal with it. But, yeah, it's a really even game at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to change to a 4-2-3-1 for the second half because I feel like we're relying too heavily on the wings and putting balls in the box. And they've got enough height and enough bodies in the box themselves to deal with the crosses. So, hopefully, we can be a little bit more narrow and maybe get in behind with this system. And Coleman is going to come on and Ross Stewart is going to come off. Gabby now. Turn your money if you can, it is. Struck at the edge of the box and it's just over the bar again. Grant is desperate for his first goal in a time where Derby. And there is Steve Bruce. Holding the ball well here. Newcastle are toying with us a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. No, out wide, out wide here. Don't let him pull it back. He has done. He's chosen the wrong man for me to... Jesus Christ. He keeps picking the wrong man for me to be in these situations. Get the ball out. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we are. Can you maybe drive it inside? We've got bodies in there now. And again, one more time, he's offside. Oh, he's wild offside, isn't he? It's a great finish, but he's miles offside a couple of times. Castellejo does that. He just stands in an off offside position all the time. Go on, go on. Just take a shot, take a shot. There we go. It's Captain Twanzeby. Can he take things into his own hands? Oh, and it's parried away. Twanzeby there, the decent effort. Josh Madger is going to come on. Just over 15 minutes to go. And uh, Grant is going to come off. He's had plenty of chances in this game. And it just feels like he's never going to hit the back of the net in this one. So we'll give Madra a go. Who hasn't been amazing so far this season. But, oh, that's a shite pass, man. But, yeah, Madra, I think if he gets a winning goal here, that would redeem his name. Uh, why can't I string a pass together? It's such a simple pass to make, and he just keeps driving it at the opposition. Here we go. Good chance here. No, 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 no. Everyone's running away from it again. Get it away. Jesus. Only a few moments remain and Newcastle just holding on to the ball. Like they're not bothered anymore. Say that. They're starting to bring it forward now. 
Out wide. Is this going to be nil-nil? I'll take the nil-nil at this point because they're starting to really push. Come on, get into him, get into him, get into him. Oh, no, he's gone through the legs of Sirkin. It's John Joe, Sel Sorry, John Joe Shelby. Out wide. Come on, Coleman. Why aren't you marking? Get it away. Jesus, go on, Coleman. That's yours. It's too easy. Get it away. This is shocking. And Hoffman couldn't decide whether he was going to come and get it then. But there is Madja. And that is horrendous from him. This is shite from us at the minute. I can just feel it. Come on now. Let's break forward. Let's break. Let's break. Let's break. Let's break. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. It's on the turn. Out wide. There we go. Last chance of the game. It's Castellejo. You're miles offside, Madja. Get onside. Across goal. Surely. Oh, Madja. What a chance, son. To be a hero. Point blank range. Oh, and he's hit it straight at the keeper. Oh... What a chance. We have a corner, though. Can we get it on the head of Josh Major or anyone for that matter? Headed. No, it's not. It's still in the box. It's going to be nil-nil. There we go. Probably one of the most frustrating, annoying time where derbies in recent memory. Nil-nil. We had the chance at the end to seal the deal, but we didn't take it. It's a point now on the board, and again, there's the floating ball. Nil-nil. And that draw against Newcastle sees us remain in... Fifth place, we're just two points above them and they are in sixth. But now we're going to be going to Goodison Park to 12th place, Everton. And we are going to be going at second string for it. It's not necessarily the case of the first team is tired. I just thought they were so, so poor against Newcastle. We literally just could not string a pass together. Defensively, we're a little bit all over the place at times. So I am going to go for our second string squad. We still have plenty of players there that can do some harm to Everton. Of course, they have Holgate and McCulsky, or McCluskey, should I say, in the middle of defence. I feel like Scarlett and Magic together, even though Magic did just miss a sitter against the Mags in the last minute of the game, I feel like we do have enough to maybe get away with the result here at Goodison Park. So let's get into it. And here we are, Goodison Park, as we do take on Everton. It is Dion Sanderson leading us out today, of course. It's a mixed bag, it's a mixed lineup, but I do like using the second string side. Give players some, uh, some much needed game time and opportunities. I can see there's loads of space over at wide, but he's just giving it to Mumba there. Inside, flicks on, neatly done there. Full scoring, can he? Oh, what a save. We've been so wasteful in this episode so far. What a chance that is. You need to be scoring that, mate. We have a corner, though. Low takes it towards Scarlett, and it's cleared away. Oh, come on now. Oh, well played, Sando. Making a great interception there. Out wide for Jamal Low. He does have the pace. He's rapid, Jamal Low. Look at that. So easy for him to just drive at pace now. Can he get it across goal? He does. Anyone headed? It's a horrendous header, really. I think it must have took a deflection over the bar. That's it. Get it back across goal. Back across goal if you can. Towards Sanderson with the effort. Headed away. It was going to go very calmly to the keeper, but it's on your Dika now. From distance, on your Dika. Oh, my God. I thought the keeper was just going to let that one go in. But it's just drifted wide. It's Lord now is. Got past Key really easily there. Get it away, get it away, get it away. Well played, Bissek. Get it away, man. Get into him, get into him, get into him. On your Deacon now, trying to hold him off. It's a strike that's gone really easily. Oh, sorry, really easy into the hands of oh, Frustal. Well played, Denver. Try and find your man. He does. Bolly Mumba. And again, well played. And again, well. Turn, 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 turn. It is Josh Madger. He's going to strike it himself. He's hit the post. Oh, today just isn't our day, is it? It really is not our day. We're battering him here as well. Man in behind there. Surely he's offside, ref. Surely he's offside. I don't think he is, though. He's pulled it back. What a save. And again, the short Sando. Oh, the keeper well in. Jesus Christ. Now, here is Gordon on the left-hand side. Again, he's getting past Josh Key, who's usually really, really good. But they are still in possession. Get over to him, man. Are they going to get the ball in the box? They've got it to the edge. This is where they're going to be really dangerous. They're twisting and turning. It's struck. And it's a save by Frustal there. Go to him. Well in. Well in, Key. There we go. It's coming now. Bring it forward. The pass on to Josh Major. He tries to flick it in towards Scarlett. Can he spread the play? Yes, he can. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. I can see a body there. It's Jamal Lowe with the touch. Strike it. And it's a save. And again, it doesn't quite fall for Scarlett. So a half an hour remaining. Ball over the top. And what a ball that is for Lucas Mora. Oh, Denver Hume is too weak there. He's tried to pull it back to the edge. Get it away, man. Great chance for them. Oh, they've absolutely taken the piss there. And we're a goal down. Really, really good football, it has to be said. They've absolutely done us over. They've sweated it. What a little goal that is for Korea. Lovely football. They've taken the piss there. I thought he was going to shoot. 
They pull it back again. I thought they were going to shoot there, and he's pulled it back again. Oh, it's 1 0 to Everton. Great header there from Bissett. Come on, help him, help him, help him out. Put one over the top from Chase. Is he going to get there? He is going to get there. It is Grant for substitute. Grant! Oh, we're never going to score. This episode, we are not scoring. I'm just telling you now. It's not happening. Oh, they're pinging around the ball. Like, we're not even there at the minute. Well in Bissett, but he's. <laughs> Took it off and then passed it straight back to him. Come on, let's make a pass to one of our players. I knew it weren't going to happen. Oh, guys, I've lost my head here. Every opportunity is just giving it him back. I can't believe that. Look at that shy pass. It's such a simple one to do as well. And it's give it straight to the opposition again. The whistle is going to go. We're a goal down. It's going to be three points to Everton, I think, this one. And deservedly so. There we are. <laughs> it's a good goal for Everton and we just aren't scoring in this episode whilst I'm controlling the players anyway. It's just not happening today. We've had chances against Newcastle that I think usually would hit the back of the net in this one as well. Really good chance for Grant there towards the last stages of the game. And we fit it straight at the keeper. Not a great performance. That's just one point from a possible six so far in this episode. I think because we made such a good start to the season, my standards have risen a lot higher because generally a point... From six, yeah, it isn't fantastic, but it wouldn't be absolutely terrible given that we're in the Premier League now. But because we've started so well, we've taken three points, well, we've taken, you know, maximum points against really, really good sides. So when we drop points, it hurts a lot more because we've already hit those heights of beating, you know, teams around the top six. So when we lose to someone like Everton, with no disrespect to them, it just feels so, so shit when in reality it was always going to happen. But now, we are going to be watching the game against Brighton and then jumping in if we need to. Even though, like I say, <laughs> I just can't score in this episode, so it'll be pretty pointless jumping in anyway. So we are going to go full strength, and of course, we shall watch this one. I'd love it if we could just sit back now, put me in a better mood, if we could just sit back, watch us win 2 or 3 0, and we don't even need to jump in. That would make me a lot happier. Go on, have a shot, have a shot, have a shot! High and wide. I swear these lads better score. I swear. Good switch. Come on, someone just shoot. Have a crack. They're trying to walk the ball in the back of the net. Shoot. Oh, and it's wide. What a chance again. The ju <laughs> it's just as bad watching it than me playing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it on. Give it on. There we go. Surely. Finish. It's in. It's 1-0. And is he onside? Or is he offside? Is he offside? What's going on? No, no, it got it took so long for that to come up. I thought it was disallowed, but it's Diaku who gets it. We finally score. Just get another one, lads. I don't want to jump in. I don't want to play, I don't want to play anymore. Because I've been shit. And there goes the off-time whistle. I think we've absolutely deserved that. And I did not realise they've had a man sent off. I've only just realised that they have had a man sent off. <laughs> I had no idea. We should be winning this frigging game then. Let's have a look at the uh, the stats. Yeah, the stats. We've had five shots. They've had none. But they've had a lot more possession with ten men. They've had a, a man injured. March has gone off injured. And Ostergaard has been sent off. I had no idea. If we somehow lose this game or don't win it, I will be absolutely infuriated now. I will be absolutely infuriated, I'm telling you. Come on, let's get another. Let's get a second. Let's get a second, lads. Come on. Have a crack. Shoot, surely. It's in. It's 2-0 and it's Grant who adds yet another goal to his tally. Get in. Get away, what are you doing? Hoffman, kick the ball, mate. Kick the ball, Hoffman, kick the ball. I guarantee we just chips it straight to them now because he looks frustrated. There we go. I knew that'd happen. I knew it'd happen. It happens all the time when you're watching the game and they don't know what to do. Or they start sort of spazzing out a little bit because they just start shifting from left to right and they don't pass the ball. They just dink it straight to the opposition. It's like the default thing to do. Oh, wide right, now. Can we make it three? Last chance of the game, maybe. Can we work one into the box? We can! It's 3 0 and it's Grant again! Get in! That's what we needed. That's what I needed to put a smile on my face. Get in. There goes a full sound whistle. A great way to get back to winning ways. And now we are going to be ending the episode with a quick sim game. I am going to go second string, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to go second string for this one against Watford. Can we end the episode with another victory? Another victory in which I will not be taking part in. Because I've had a nightmare, haven't I? Today, uh, you know, you just have an off day sometimes and the ball just won't hit the back of the net. Certain things don't go your way. And that's happened a lot in the uh, two games that I've played in this episode. But we'll quick sim this one against Watford. And we win by three goals to two. What a game that is there. Let's go back to the bottom. Sando scored the opening goal in the sixth minute. They missed a penalty. We made it 2-0 through Coleman. Gallagher scored a brace to make it 2-all. And then Madger 
who's had a pretty poor run of form recently, is the one that gives us all three points, 3-2. Three, so in today's episode, we have had two wins from a possible four, and both wins have come from watching the game and quick in the game, which is a little bit frustrating, but like I say, sometimes this does happen. Now, in the next episode, we are going to be playing the quarter-final of the Carabao Cup against Wolves. But for now, at the end of this episode, this is how the league table looks. Liverpool are top of the pile, five Points clear now against, oh sorry, over and ahead of Manchester United. Man City in third, Chelsea in fourth, and we are in an excellent position in fifth place. Four points ahead of Spurs, West Ham and the Mags are in seventh and eighth respectively as well. Now the bottom three, we do have Watford, Crystal Palace and Southampton still with just the one win from their opening 18. But that'll be it guys, if you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me, it'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming. <laughs>